All right, so what do we think going back to the life after Breeze, assuming Teddy is the quarterback? I mean, I think at some point last year, we all kind of said by the end of the last season that, you know what, I think we're actually okay with Michael Thomas being life after Breeze because this guy is, to me and everything I've seen from him, one of the elite receivers in this league. When if Breeze leaves, obviously you're going to take a downtick in some yeah. production, yeah. but um, I think Michael Thomas is fantastic. And, you know, you saw Devontae Adams last year play with uh, Brett Hundley, and you saw DeAndre Hopkins play with backup Savage. quarterbacks and, and, and do well. And that's what good receivers do. True. Um, True. Well said. So at one point, I was telling you to sell this man because he had that great rookie season and Breeze was old and I was so work concerned about this life after Breeze because I was just convinced that Breeze was making this guy like he had done many a times before. Mm -hmm. But over the last year, I think we all have come to realize that we're pretty much okay with having Michael Thomas on your team, life after Breeze. And then this Teddy thing comes along and definitely makes you feel even better. Yeah, well, like you said, I mean, Teddy's 25 years old, just to point that out when you said how, you know, he's 25 years old. Even if he gets two or three years behind Breeze, if the Saints are smart enough and Teddy's willing enough to sign on for a couple of years here to be tutored, this man has a potential to be 27, 28 years old when Breeze is gone, not even entering his mental prime, where I don't consider the quarterbacks are in their mental prime until they're 30. And, yeah, I mean, give me all the long-term Teddy, you know, for the Saints' sake, too. So, but yeah, as far as Michael Thomas is concerned, he did come out. I mean, obviously he had Drew Brees last year, but he put another year of absolute elite, like he's a bigger dude, but elite separation skills and contested catch. And like, he's got clamps for hands. Right. Like there's not, there's nobody's going to knock that hand. He knows if, where to be on the field. He knows Crushes where to be. his own defense. If anybody get, if that ball gets near him, it's his ball. I don't care well, who's defending him. And if he gets his hands on it, nobody's hitting him in the arm and he drops it. Like this man is a absolute top end pro bowl wide receiver. And like you said, he good receivers play good football with bad quarterbacks, right? They get open. They get targeted. They catch balls. And, and sometimes it's better for like you saw for DeAndre Hopkins last year. Like obviously bludgeoned. it's the offense is operating at a much higher efficiency with Watson there. And there's maybe some better opportunities out there. But the volume with crappy quarterbacks just defaulting to that uh, number one alpha guy. DeAndre well, Hopkins crushed it with a bad bunch of bad quarterbacks at the end of last year with Savage. Yeah, just getting you, bludgeoned with targets. Well, you take out you take out the you know the two plays a game where Will Fuller's getting fifty yard touchdowns, and that's more targets for Hopkins because De Deshaun's not in there hitting Will Fuller for touchdowns. Right, right. it's a drive killer when you score exactly. a long touchdown. <laughs> yeah, it only helps the one for fantasy. It only helps two guys, the quarterback and the wide receiver, to get that fifty right. yard touchdown. It takes away catches and snaps and runs from everybody else. Yeah, I think that was a great point you made, calling out these other players that we've seen do well even when their star quarterback isn't in there and I'm all in for what you're going to get from Michael Thomas while Drew Brees is in there he's going to be all right afterwards maybe not the crazy ceiling but Teddy coming in there learning it, it, it just sheds a little bit more light on life AB for me for sure maybe not quite as much as you guys I, I don't know but I'm, I'm it's on the up uh, it's it's definitely it was worth bringing up and it was worth uh, discussing here for sure. Well, and even the comparison that he made to the good good quarterback, good receivers and bad quarterbacks, but if you can make the comparison about the potential where he was saying about Michael Thomas as a rookie, like Drew Brees, Kenny Stills has looked good in Miami, but as Kenny, Kenny Stills was a young wide receiver in the league and he was played, he had some great games with Drew Brees. He made Devery Henderson. He made Robert Meacham. You know, he Willie Sneed. He, Willie Sneed. He just got Ted Ginn and made bet, put yeah. up the best year of his career over there. You know, so like Drew Brees makes wide receivers. And I think that's what Casey was saying when he was saying sell Michael Thomas like going into last year, sell him at a all he would sell him at an extreme high. He's not any higher this year. He's just more you, you feel a little more confident. So I guess in a, in essence he's a little higher, but he's our, he's still where he was in a startup last year, which is that for in you know in top of the second round two one two 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 three two four, which is basically where he was last year. But now you're just a little more confident in, in him as a whole and now his backup quarterback. Well, Teddy does only have one year on his contract, so the Saints would have to sign him for a longer deal. Well, yeah, that's what I meant by if Teddy decides to, because you got two people making choices here. It's like, does 
the Saints obviously bring him in this year as a we're going for the Super Bowl. We need a backup quarterback just in case. Look what happened with Nick Foles and the Eagles last year. Sure. And then it's like, well, does Teddy want to make the decision to stay and be under Breeze for a year or two or however many long years? You know, if like Casey said, I think it's a perfect situation for Teddy to be in here as a 25 year old quarterback who's had some ups and downs in his career to study behind Drew Brees, but does he want to sign that or does he take this one year of study and then maybe try to be a starter for somebody next year, you know? Right. So it's like, do the Saints pay him to be a high-paid backup for into the future, sign him to a longer deal, two or three more years under to back, to back up Drew Brees, and does Teddy decide that that's what he wants to do? If it was, if obviously, if you're, if you're a quarterback, you want to start. But right. you've had, you know, if you have the opportunity to study behind an absolute underappreciated legend, the first ballot Hall right. of Famer, nobody's had more 5,000 yard passing seasons in a row than Drew Brees. I don't think anybody's had more than two 5,000 yard passing seasons. And Drew Brees got like eight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. he's an absolutely ridiculous beast. So if I'm Teddy, you should think hard, long and hard about staying with Drew Brees as long as you can. Well, I mean, there's no chance that. Any, I don't think anybody's given Teddy like a big contract or anything like that on this on this next go round. So I think maybe he, you're almost I don't know. You're I think you're almost better off staying there, getting another, and they're not going to give him like a long deal to be the backup over there. And you know, it might yeah, be two right. years, two two, two, two three years. years or something two like years. that. Yeah. With and you put an option in there where you can get out of there. And what 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 do you have to lose here? Obviously, everybody wants to be a starter. Nobody's like, yeah, I want to be a backup. Yeah. And Teddy looked good, but like, how many teams are going to come calling and then put you in the same situation? Essentially, like, look what just happened with the Jets. The, the Anybody who wants Teddy Bridgewater, if they have an opportunity to draft a quarterback in the NFL draft, they're probably going to do so. Right. Like, so you could just be going volleying to another situation like this when if you just and it possibly wait your turn and show these boys every day in practice that look at how good I that am. That you could be the future. Right. They and might give you they're probably your best chance to get a good long term contract. Yeah. Right? And it's arguably there might not only be two or three better offensive coordinators slash head coaches in the league from right. Sean Payton. So why not stick around there? Oh, Jay Wayne so, likes this one. So if I'm. If I'm Teddy, I'm getting in. I'm trying to make buddy buddy with Drew and Sean, and I want to know, Drew, are you retiring this year? Are you coming back next year? <laughs> yeah. Are you just going to come back for one more year? And then Sean, Drew, are you going to stick around for me if, when Drew leaves? Because if that was the case, if I only had to wait like one more year after this year for yeah. Drew to finish out his two year contract, to be, to be with Peyton, and then be with Peyton, yeah, I'm. A, I, one if I'm the, Teddy, I mean, and he'd be like 27 at that point. That's what I'm with saying. Sean Peyton in this offense. Mm-hmm. We just created quite the narrative. A QB, a two, <laughs> quite the narrative. Two quarterback future monster. You better pick up Teddy now. He could be with Sean Payton next year. I think Teddy's picked up. He's pick him back probably up. Probably picked up. I'm sure he's picked up. I'm going to go with my instincts on this one. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we got plenty more to talk about with the Saints, but like we said before, you got to head over to patreon.com for that slash the FF Dynasty. Um, yeah, the, we we got some. Uh, we're going to discuss some more Saints wide receivers. Um, is it time to hit kind of the Cam Meredith pa- panic button? If you were feeling that, is Traquan is Traquan Smith poised for a big uh, big year here? Stuttering at the end of this thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just quit and do us all a favor? Right. <laughs> Does Ted Ginn still have a pulse? We're going to hit some Kamara, some Ingram. We got some AP talk. Some Packers rookies. Uh, maybe we got a request to talk about Godwin versus Mike Evans. So we're going to do a little bit of all that. Yeah, so head over to uh, the FFDynasty.com. You can find the Patreon link through there. We also got some forums you can get any of your questions in on. We'll try to stay active on those things. It's also just a cool place with all of our content. You can search any player and find a podcast or a video that we've done about them. We're on any of your platforms of choice, Podbean, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, most importantly iTunes. Please go hit that, tap that little five-star review for us. Take you no time. It would mean a tremendous deal for us. And uh, big thanks to anyone that's already done it. Plenty of you guys out there supporting us on the reg. And we want to say thank you for that. Well, absolutely. In the last week, we asked people to go out and hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And immediately, we got a ton of extra subscribers, so we appreciate the action out of you guys. We literally ask you for a five-second favor, even if you don't watch YouTube, just to go over and hit that subscribe button. We see and, you. And you did it we in numbers, you. and mm-hmm. we really appreciate that. So if you got an extra second and you weren't one of the guys that did that for us last week, guys or gals, go over there, hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. That helps us out. 
And we appreciate the people that did that for us last week because that's really the first time we asked you to go do that, and a bunch of you did it, and we really appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. And we're about to go another hour in the paint on uh, the NFL for your pleasure. Hit us with that $5 holla. Head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty if you want some more content. And if you sign up for six months, you get a T-shirt after six months of, uh, of giving it's to really us. It's really cool. And, uh, I mean, they're not cheap T-shirts either, so we're not making a ton of money off this, but we are uh, trying to get a little bit. We've got your... day-to-day operations to run over here. I know. <laughs> day-to-day I know. operations. All this stuff is expensive. Got overhead. Right. Hit us up on Twitter, at the FF Dynasty. We have our own individual handles, at IMC Myers, at Dynasty Big Co., at J. Wayne's World. Till next time, you've been listening to the FF Dynasty's Married to the Game. <laughs>